Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Sensei Yvonne. So today I have a guest and he will teach you how to do a tricks on the trumpet by the wall. So let's watch intro. This guest is Tyler Clymer. I think I call your name right. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you for coming. Thank you for having me. <laughs> so, uh, tell the guys, <laughs> how did you start it? Uh, how did I start trampoline wall? Yeah. Uh, well, I joined the circus uh, five years ago. We traveled around, and at that time, I was just a tumbler. Um, my other expertise was just as a normal person, just a tumbler. <laughs> just, yeah. just a regular person who flips on the ground. And uh, I always loved trampoline. And then I noticed that they put a wall next to the trampoline, and I really wanted to do that. It looked like a lot of fun, so I had them teach me. And then over the next two years, three years, I started getting really good at it. And now it's my favorite thing to do involving a trampoline. So you're not starting with like stairs by the trampoline, like just straight to the wall. The the circus that I was part of, they had a uh, wall that was 12 feet from the trampoline bed, 16 feet from the ground, and I had to learn to climb that. And I practiced uh, every day for about six months, and eventually I was able to jump off the top of it. Wow! Yeah, it was a lot of work. So, how high is your highest wall? You you got it. Uh, twelve feet is usually the. <laughs> Sometimes I tell jokes and I don't even know I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> we usually perform on is twelve feet. Uh, the wall in the video that you just saw is eight feet from the bed, so about four feet shorter. I wouldn't call myself a hero, really, Yvonne, but thank you, those are your words. I like to consider myself just, you know, more of a vigilante. Just a person who does it for what they think is right. Uh, what is your favorite color? I like the color red, and I really like a black and red combination. No, I thought you said blue. <clears throat> <My God. laughs> I did say blue. Yeah. <laughs> wow! The magic of... <laughs> magic of one thing. <laughs> Blue is my favorite color. Wow! And now back to the serious question. What does it mean for you? Uh, trampoline wall to me is a way to express myself uh, through my art form. I get to uh, create a character, I get to be this other person on stage, and I get to use my skills to express that character, which I find is probably the best part of trampoline wall for me. You know, you're this other person, you're this fun uh, kind of clown character. Well, everybody's got like, their own character, their own feel, but uh, for me, um, my guy's just a really big goofball, and he's always just clumsy, but very talented, and, and always doing these big tricks, but almost not even knowing he's doing them. And now we're back to the, uh, your coaching experience. So how long have you been a coach? Um, I've been a coach for about five, six years now. Um, but I've always been coaching, even when I was an athlete. Uh, when our friends were doing tricks, you know, sometimes our coach wasn't always around, so we'd have to be there to help them out and be able to spot things. So you kind of learn to coach at a very young age, and you don't really stop. Now I just get paid to do it. Yeah, so guys, some of you, you probably already do that. Comment below, text us, where is your gym, where are you doing, and uh, let's, let's grow the uh, trampoline wall community bigger, especially yeah. here in Canada, right? <laughs> I mean, like, in Russia we can do it too. Так что, ребят, подписывайтесь и продолжайте. Если вы понимаете по-английски, всегда welcome to the channel. Привет. Привет. <laughs> He knows more, but we will not talk about that. <laughs> So guys, with, uh, I know we will talk about easy trick, uh, a wall run, run wall, how do you call that? Yeah, just walking the wall, learning how to get ourselves up that wall so we can learn how to jump off of it. Yeah. Uh, you might say like, I want to learn how to do double wall flip or whatever, but we want you guys to be safe 
uh, we want you guys to learn everything without injury. So when we will, maybe we'll meet you in 10, 30 years and you still be able to move your body, <laughs> right? That's a big one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so some athletes are really strong and incredible, but only one year and they do crazy stuff, jumping from building to building or off the building and the breaking legs. But we want to be sure you growing your eyes with us. So we'll talk about different tricks mm -hmm. from easier to harder and follow with us guys and you will see more videos. The good thing about trampoline wall also is that it's a retirement uh, sport. It's, parkour. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a well, old parkour guys. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, the thing about trampoline wall is that you can do it when you're 40. You can do it when you're 50. You know, it's it's not so hard, it's on the body. You're able to keep going and, and still learn even at an older age. You might slow down a little bit, but you can still do it. Because and at the end of the day, you're just jumping off a roof onto a trampoline and then landing back on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's exciting. So let's talk about this one. Number one is being able to land on your back safely in trampoline wall. So I go through very important steps here on making sure you're in the right position when you land in the trampoline bed and a little bit of drills that will uh, help you gain power and control when on the wall. Your head is relaxed and your legs are forward. A little bonus challenge, you can try to give yourself a little bit of a bounce while doing this. If you're able to do this, this will give you good direction and good control. If you find that you keep sitting up while you do this, it's because you're dropping your feet. Your feet are your direction. Wherever your feet are pointing, you are going. If my feet is up, I go up. If my feet are down, I go forwards. If my feet are behind me, I roll backwards. It's a simple set. Start on the edge of your trampoline, jump to your back, back to the edge of the trampoline. This shows control and the fact that you're able to move forwards. If you're finding that you're getting stuck back on the trampoline, it's because you're not sitting up out of the bed, reaching your arms to give yourself enough direction. Now watch what it looks like when I don't sit up out of the bed. I don't make it, my hips move forwards, and my arms float behind me. Now you need your arms. So you wanna be doing a sit up motion out of the bed. Notice how my arms reach forward, and I made this sort of cave with my body, this in curve. What I'm trying to explain to you here is that when you land on your back, you want to make sure that you can get back up towards your feet. Uh, so if you imagine yourself doing this off of a high wall, uh, you're going to want to land back on top of the wall. So if you can't do it just from the edge of the trampoline, probably don't take it up any higher. You're going to end up missing your feet and you'll actually just fall down that wall face first. Ouch. Yeah. Okay. So what will be a next step? I don't know. Watch the video. <laughs> yeah, that's why. So guys, if you want to know more about backflip, watch this video. We already did with Cody McAllister. McAllister? Ah, just check it out. Once you figure out the balance of your backdrop, you can start taking it to your feet, to your back. So now, as I said before, arms forward, feet are going to come up, reaching about your hands area. But don't leave your hands here. Let your hands go up. Look for the sky at the same time. It's gonna look like this. If you can get back to your feet, that's great. That's what we're looking for, especially on trampoline wall. We're not trying to stay on our back. So I can't stress enough the importance of staying on your back. Um, being able to balance on your back. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I think that was mine. How did you do that? Yeah, I was thirsty. I, I, Mine's empty. <laughs> I can't, <laughs> I can't stress the importance of being able to control your body while you're on your back. It's just bounce on your back and have as much control on your back as you possibly can because in the, at the end of the day, you're bouncing on your back and it's just gonna make you safer and it's gonna make you better at trampoline wall. Ball, so I always make athletes do ant bounces or needles. This is a skill where you're landing on your back and you're staying in the rhythm of bouncing on your back. Now I'm relaxed, my arms are kind of swimming in the air and my legs are kicking as if I was on a swing set. When I bring my legs back, 
it brings my weight into my body, and as I kick my legs forward, it lifts me into the air, allowing me to control my height, and allowing me to be more comfortable in the air. This takes a while to get. You're really gonna play with this one, and it's gonna frustrate you. But it's quite a big uh, necessary prerequisite. Now that we have a little bit of control on our back, moving forward, staying in the air, we can bring it to a wall. So the first step I always make people do is you stand right close to the wall, two hands on the wall, you're gonna push yourself off the wall, and try to get right back to the wall. Now, you can move your trampoline up to the side of your house, or you can practice this at a gym where they have a trampoline wall. Uh, but this is very good to get yourself started and warmed up. Once that's easy, once you've figured that out, you're gonna, again, go back to the wall. You're gonna put one foot on the wall and fall. You try to keep one foot on the wall. You'll notice you may float away from the wall. If that happens, you're just pushing off the wall too hard. Keep your feet up, lean into that wall. It's okay to be too close to the wall. It's not okay to be too far from the wall. Once you get the rhythm of that, we're gonna make it a little bit more challenging. We're gonna try to get two feet to the wall. You really wanna touch your feet, slightly push off and drop into the bed and then use the bed as the direction to get back into the wall. If you push too far away, you're not gonna be able to reach. So it's very important that you make sure you're not kicking off the wall too hard. You realize you've got some control staying on the wall. The next step is to jump and kick the wall. I recommend doing this one if you're only comfortable and you can use a mat if you're worried about hurting your head. So while you land on your back, make sure you're looking towards the top of the wall or your feet. Try not to be looking too low down. That's gonna bring you up. When it comes to trampoline wall, the most important thing to always remember is safety. All right, uh, it's an extreme sport. That means we're doing things that not regular people want to do. You know, we're jumping off of high heights, so we always want to make sure that we're safe. To be safe, make sure you keep mats around, make sure that you're using mats when you're trying something new. Um, once you feel comfortable with it, take the mat away and see how it feels. As soon as you take that mat away, you're going to get more bounce out of the trampoline. So be ready for that. As long as your feet are pointing up, you're going to be fine. Do you have a lot of injuries? I've got about five, just so from my neck fingers? up. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Oh. I don't want to talk about what's going down below. Na zdarovia. Na zdarovia. When you're walking on the wall, there's always going to be a foot that's higher and a foot that's lower. One is to show your balance, and the other one is to push off the wall and also to push up the wall. When you get to the top of the wall, the foot that's on top of the wall should be your jumping leg. What you're gonna do to figure that out is you're gonna to wanna to run as fast as you can, jump off of one leg, and land on two. Whichever leg you take off of is gonna be the leg that usually goes on top. That way when we get to big pops or tricks on top of the wall, you're gonna have the right foot or the correct foot on top, and you're not gonna to have to learn how to switch them, which I've had athletes have to do before, and it is very tough to learn to climb the wall from scratch with your opposite foot. All right, now that we know which leg's going on top, we're gonna to bring our left leg up as we wall walk. Our right leg's gonna go below. Now, as I wall walk, I'm gonna to try to bring my shoulders more forward now to create sort of that walking motion that's gonna give me height. When you're walking on the ground, you don't walk with your shoulders behind you because you'd look like a weirdo, okay? We wanna make sure that our shoulders are going forwards when we walk, because that helps us with our momentum of moving forwards. Same concept is on the wall. Make sure you use your arms. These things are important. Don't leave them out here because they're gonna pull you back down to the trampoline. So I would jump the same way we started, two feet up, lie down. Now it looks like I'm actually running up the wall. Make sure you get your shoulder or your chest close to your knee. And this will allow you to step up your foot. My right foot was the foot that was pushing down and I was kind of stepping up. My left foot was there to balance, but if I wanted to go higher, I could also pull weight on that foot. So there's a more than one technique. Okay. okay. And you're like, yeah. Why, yes, Yvonne. <laughs> you're right. Oh, my arm cramped. <laughs> so I was, I, I thought uh, you out. You're right, Yvonne. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, I'm always right. I'm Sensei one. So is that only one technique or more? Uh, yes, there are a couple different techniques. A lot of people have their own technique, a special technique. But for climbing the wall, there's two very good ways. Waiter, more vodka. I have a question. A question? Yes. Question. Why do you drink rock? Well, the thing is, it's not if you want to be solid, you are what you eat. But you drink. How do you taste? So, also, I was thinking about Tyler. If some of the parents call you and say, Hey, Tyler, I will pay you a hundred bucks for an hour. Can you come and teach my kid? Absolutely not. Instead of calling me and asking me, Hey, can you help my son uh, learn some more trampoline wall skills? Make sure you subscribe to the video and follow along because the more views we get, the more videos are going to be coming out and then, hey, it's free. Just yeah. watch the videos, they're proper tutorials and your kid will learn how to do it. The other technique of getting up the wall is using that ant bounce technique we were talking about earlier, the needle. What you're going to do is you're going to bounce on your back, you're going to kick your legs and push your hands at the same time. You can get up the wall just using this technique without having to use the run technique at all. It's best to use both and to be able to combine them but it's also good to be able to know how to do both. So, the ant bounce technique, or the needle technique, looks like this. My feet will stay together. Now we kick it. You notice, my feet go really high. It's all because of the way I'm pushing out of the bed. I'm really kicking and trying to explore the trampoline power rather than the wall power. Now let me show you what it looks like when you combine them. You get to the wall no problem, but that takes a lot of practice. So don't get too upset if it takes a while to get there. There you go. Now it looks like he's running up the wall, like a pro. Hey guys, if you want to see Coach Tyler in this channel more often and get more classes from him, uh, let's do a thousand? A thousand views. Not subscribers, we wish subscribers. If, uh, if we get 1,000 subscribers, I give the $20 car gift card, guys. Okay. Okay, but if it's only 1,000 you, we'll teach. I'll, te teach. I'll teach you two new skills, okay? We're going to teach you a cat twist, which is a really fun skill that you can... Yeah. Yeah. That you can um, make harder and really make it really flashy. And then the second skill we're going to teach you is a hand plant which again can progress into a palm flip on the wall. We're not done yet. Why are we not done yet? See, he asked me like to bring him coffee every break, guys. An only espresso. Where is the other coffee I ordered? This is ridiculous, it's taking way too long. I come here as your guest. You even ate rock, because this was made from coffee tree. It rocked. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, if your knee hurts and you don't want to feel like an old man and you do any sport like parkour or anything where you're using your quads more than other muscles, you better start bringing your legs into balance because when you're working on the quads, your knee is getting pulling on one side more than other because quads is connected a little bit different so watch my next video where I will explain which exercise we need to do and avoid the knee pain in the future or if you have it right now, we can fix that. Okay, see ya.